Plants transport water and nutrients from their roots to their leaves through a vascular tissue called xylem. These are dead, empty cells which connect end to end, forming long, continuous tubes. Because water molecules carry a slight electric charge, they're attracted to each other. This natural attraction, known as cohesion, links the molecules in long, continuous chains. At the leaves, water escapes the xylem and evaporates through microscopic pores on the surface called stomata. As each molecule breaks loose, it pulls up another molecule to take its place. This continuous pulling tension extends all the way down the xylem tube to the roots. Here, the rising chain of molecules keeps pressure low, allowing water and nutrients to enter through osmosis. If you want to know how a plant grows, it takes water, air and sunlight and makes cellulose. Every plant can do this fundamental process and we can call this photosynthesis. Unlike me and you, plants need CO2 and they make oxygen that stops us turning blue. Every plant can do this fundamental process and we can call this photosynthesis. It's a miracle how all the chlorophyll catches sunlight in the leaves of the plants and the trees. A plant of any size can do it if it tries but we're not green so we can't photosynthesize. Every plant can do this fundamental process and we can call this photosynthesis. It's a miracle how all the chlorophyll captures sunlight in the leaves of the plants and the trees. Every plant can do this fundamental process and we can call this photosynthesis. Every plant can do this fundamental process and we can call this photosynthesis. Photosynthesis.